Now at 11, another heartbreaking tragedy for Brody Allen's family. That little boy died from a rare brain cancer last month, and now his older brother is fighting for his life. Nine on your sides, Kristen Swilly joins us live with what happened and how you can help. Kristen. Yeah, well, good evening, guys. This is on this intersection behind me near Springdale Road, where police say Andrew Allen was just trying to cross the street when he was hit by multiple cars. Now the thousands of people who came together for his little brother, Brody Allen, are coming together for him, too. I actually knew before the group um, and that because I was called. Christy Curley met the Allen family as they worked to give their two-year-old a Christmas he'd never lived to see. They buried Brody less than two weeks ago, and now this. I think if it was me that was happening to I don't think I would be this strong. I don't think I could be this strong. Andrew Drew Allen was hit by multiple cars Monday evening trying to cross the street near the family's home. The 18 year old has life threatening brain injuries, damage to his heart and lungs and broken bones, according to his father. The question of why. And we'll never know that answer, but we still we still ask it. The good thing about God is he lets you ask why he lets you be upset and frustrated. Matt Castleman is Crossroads West Side community pastor. The Allens don't go to his church, but during Brody's battle, he made it clear they belonged. He heals the brokenhearted and binds up their wounds. The promise in that is God is going to take care of this. Castleman says it's time for the community to support the Allens like never before with prayers and donations. We talked to Todd, Drew's father earlier, heard from a friend that Drew is still fighting. He's strong and he believes God has more planned for Drew. Now police say the drivers in Monday's crash stayed on scene and they are not expected to face any sort of charges. If you would like to help out the Allen family, we posted a link to their GoFundMe page on our website, WCPO.com. Reporting live in Coleraine Township this evening, Kristen Swilly, 9 on your side. All right.